I always wanted to work at the interface of medicine and technology. When I was applying to graduate school, I heard about the program that I'm in, which is the Health Sciences and Technology, or HST program, which is a collaboration between MIT and Harvard Medical School. I have the opportunity, which is pretty unique, where you actually take classes with medical students, and I also take several engineering classes here at MIT, and I also have the opportunity to work as a medical student in the hospital and actually learn what clinicians do on a day-to-day -day basis. Our group actually does many different things, and all of it is related to using different kind of technologies in medicine. We have people with medical training in the group. We have people who, who are undergraduates at MIT in electrical engineering. We have people who have who've done all kinds of different things. What I've worked on more recently is somehow trying to make sense of all the data that we collect in different forms in hospitals and different medical settings. There's a lot of data that's collected from a patient during a surgery. The patient is hooked up to tons of different monitors, and that data can be stored very easily. And until now, mostly hospital would just get rid of that data afterwards. And instead, what we want to do is actually store that data and collect it and see what we can learn from it. What we'd really like to be able to do is develop a way that the doctors in the operating room can have a real-time feedback about what the patient's future looks like there are different thoughts about what the best way to maintain a patient is. So should they very liberally transfuse blood or other fluids into the patient, or should they be a little more conservative and waiting until maybe their blood pressure gets really low or something similar to that? I'm actually right now taking a human anatomy class. We are dissecting cadavers, and it's something that I never expected I would have had in graduate school, but it's been a really fascinating experience. I've learned so much from that, especially from actually seeing inside a human body. The more that you know about how the body works, all of that gives you some intuition about the things that you're working on and, and you know, allows me to get a better handle about what different variables to look at. Research on day-to-day -day is extremely difficult because things almost never work out how you expect them to or how you want them to. And it sends you on all different kinds of wild goose chases and you know you end up maybe with results that were not exactly what you wanted but also still tell an interesting story or they set you on a completely different path that maybe you didn't want to go on before but now actually looks really fascinating. Here at MIT and at Harvard, everyone is doing something that's really interesting. And no matter who I meet, I, I can learn something from them. It gives me a very solid training in both engineering and in medicine that I can really go in any direction with. Whether that means you know, continuing on in academia or working you know, in the industry with physicians, with other engineers and, and other people with similar experience to really improve the quality of technology and healthcare and other things. My name is Varej Prasad, and I'm a PhD student at the Institute for Medical Engineering and Science at MIT.